normally don't draw superheroes. However, um, this gentleman here uh, commissioned me to do this character called Mystique. I guess she's one of the uh, the villains in the X-Men comic. Um, and she's got blue skin. So. And your comic books, what are you working on here? Is this Stellar Voyeur? Uh, Stellar Voyeur, that's a convention-style sketchbook of a lot of the uh, illustrational work that I've done throughout the year. Um, mostly watercolor and ink drawings that uh, tend to, uh, it, it tends to appeal to the collector's market. People that buy original art. Well, I heard you talking before, a lot of comics, the coloring is done with Illustrator and Photoshop now. Yes. And you're resistant to that? Oh, I, personally, no. Uh, however, you cannot sell uh, original art that's, um, that looks how it looks in, in the comics. It's, it's digitally colored. Mm -hmm. so, you, so, when I sell artwork, if I'm selling color art, it's the actual color is original hand colored work, as opposed to uh, somebody who draws for comics where everything's computer colored. They have line art and take away the coloring, and a lot of the times you get something that doesn't look like how it looks in the comic. Mm -hmm. So for somebody who's investing in original artwork, I kind of go the full mile and give them something that's fully colored. It's good for character uh, recognition too. Uh, this character here, she's got blue skin, or purple bluish skin. So since I got the color in there, it's instantly recognizable. Just look at the line art. It doesn't look like how it looks in the comic. Line art. So watercolor. And this is kind of a way for two collectors, various collectors. So these are all prints of the originals. Oh, that's an older comic that I did. It's called uh, Space 1958. It's kind of a throwback to the old uh, glory days of EC science fiction comics of weird fantasy and weird science. My little browser window in the corner while I'm not at work, honest. Um, also enjoying Glamorfus and the archives. Hi. So what are, what are you working on right now? Uh, dress for success from way back. Oh look, there's the old jam piece. Yep. Wow. Um, following along in Dave's suggested plan, doing stuff small press, doing it yourself. We were big followers back in the 90s, took some lifetime off. We're back online now with the new Dress of Success. Um, full color every Wednesday. You guessed at comics.com. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, we have 21 pages uh, on the live site, and uh, I have uh, up to page 44 finished in advance, so we've got a nice buffer. Not have to worry about uh, disappointing the fans by not having a post. Regular updates. I'm like, wait a minute, there's Letra set for that? I did that by hand! Oh, crap! <laughs> what I've never found out from him, though, is he said that's the second time someone's ripped off. I'm like, there's another one? I want to know what the other one is. Dave! You either alluded that you ripped off the Jack of Story lettering or someone else ripped it off from you. Who was it? What was it? I've always wondered.
I'm Jim Steranko. Please join me and Dave Sim for the five-part series Dialogue on Comic Art. So we discuss the work of superstars Jack Kirby, Reed Crandall, Mort Meskin, Joe Kubert, and Carmine Infantino. Coming soon to Cerebus TV.